CGI is proud to partner with the American Heart Association to present the sixth annual Heart Heroes Campaign. This year, we're honored to recognize the accomplishments of Lieutenant General Patricia Horoho, a champion of comprehensive wellness and health programming as the Surgeon General of the U.S. Army and the first woman to hold that position. Dr. William DeVries, who implanted the first artificial heart, is a professor, international author, and lecturer. And Dr. Frederick Lau, who has performed countless heart surgeries, developed a leading cardiac program, teaches, and is a cardiothoracic surgeon at the Walter Reed National Military Medical Center. Their stories inspire us all to support the crucial mission of the American Heart Association. My dad fought World War II, Korea, and Vietnam, and my mom served as a Red Cross volunteer. They really encouraged me to pursue the nursing field because it's a field where you can give back to your nation and make a difference in the lives of those that you're honored to serve. I think the progression from being a nurse that was delivering direct health care to where I'm serving today as the commander of Army Medical Command has really been a journey of patient care, of clinical focus, and the ability to really learn to think strategically with every leadership assignment. The performance triad is focused on sleep, activity, nutrition, and how three of those together improve health readiness of our soldiers and their families. We're moving from the model of a disease model of care to really turning that around, and we're focusing more on improving, restoring, and then maintaining. Serving in this role has allowed me to, I think, set the conditions of success for our dedicated professionals to make a difference in the lives of all of our service members and their families. When I was in medical school, I wanted to be a surgeon. I became really enamored about hearts because that, to me, was the quintessential thing of surgery was the heart, the beating heart that maintained life. I was the first successful surgeon to implant an artificial heart in a patient, and I went on to implant seven more. My retirement lasted about three months. I met a man on the golf course named Evan Gaddis, and I found out later he was a major general. And he said, we want you to join the Army and teach the residents at Walter Reed. I am what I am because the teachers that taught me, and I owe it to others to do the same thing. You're there because of the interaction you have with the people that you treat, and that's what medicine's all about, and I love it. It's where I first got the idea to be a heart surgeon. I remember when I was a child watching television and seeing things come on the program that were supported by the American Heart Association. A heart attack. Have your blood pressure checked. A message from the American Heart Association. It was critical, engendering in me the desire to, well, I should help out with that too. Maybe I'll be a heart surgeon. I did my training in cardiac surgery at Walter Reed. My motivation for joining the military was that I went to George Washington in 2004, 2005, and that's when the conflicts in Iraq and Afghanistan were very, very violent, and we were sustaining large numbers of casualties. I was trained as an American soldier and as an American surgeon, and I felt an obligation to go back on active duty. I really, really believe that I'm the most fortunate person you will ever meet because I have the opportunity to take care of heart patients. I have the opportunity to teach students about heart disease, train them to think about heart disease. I've had the opportunity to see essentially everything. That's what I would like to give back now. We're working too vigorously here. On behalf of CGI, we want to say thank you to the American Heart Association for leading us in the fight against cardiovascular disease and stroke, and congratulations to the heart heroes of 2015.